Welcome back to the world's greatest supermodel. And time for a bouncing check. Every generation needs its needs its blonde, basically. <laughs> and um, she certainly was that that the blonde of the of that era. Never know how much I love you. She was one of those uh, early 90s models that, that came after the kind of waif look, the kind of grungy look. And the fact that she was very blonde, very um, libidinous, or at least she looked libidinous, and she had a fantastic shelf, um, really, really helped, I think, her appeal. Well, Ava Herzegova is an amazing model. I mean, she is, to me, the modern Marilyn Monroe. That girl is a flirt. Viva! In the morning. She flirts with the camera and she flirts with the photographer, and she's amazing to watch. It's fun to watch because you never know what she's going to do. I light up when you call my name, and you know I'm going to treat you right. You give me fever. Is it the eyes? When you kiss me fever. Or is it the cleavage? Well, Gossard certainly thought it was her cleavage when they cast her in one of the most memorable advertising campaigns of 1994. That Wonderbra campaign was massive. It completely elevated her. And also for Wonderbra, her sales must have been astronomical, I should think. The Hello Boys campaign was one of the most iconic images of the 90s. Um, and the great thing about that was she wasn't even looking at camera strong black bra and spectacular cleavage that um, used to cause men to crash into lamppost. The impact of Ava Herzegova on that brand was astonishing. The sales went through the roof and a brand that had been around for a very, very long time suddenly became something that was sought out by millions of women, actually. It really did show the astonishing power of beauty and the supermodel through Ava. Do you mind being well known for your not at all. Not at all. No, I'm a model. I'm using any part of my body, so that's one of them. And it's a part of every woman's body now. I shouldn't be ashamed for it. But at the height of her fame, Ava shocked everyone with a radical new look. She was controversial when she lost weight. People accused her of being anorexic, but she, she has denied that. But she definitely was very, very thin. That's a tendency that, you know, I, I always feel like that the pressure for the models to be so thin sometimes is, of course, a disappointment for me. And Ava is, I have seen quite thin. <laughs> but, you know, I'm sure she still looks beautiful, but it's probably not right for us right now. She actually dyed her hair brown um, in an effort to get away from all this kind of sexy blonde glamour kind of um, image that she'd, she'd had. I think she felt trapped by it. Sometimes when you do a campaign like that, you can get very much pigeonholed. Do you know what I mean? So she was very wise later on to sort of move into a more editorial direction. The only way to stay ahead of modeling is to kind of change your image. There is a certain chameleon element to it, and the ones that survive are the ones that tweak their image and change it um, to suit the times.